Okay guys, let's start with the cleaning. I've got a solution here. I will not show everything, but at least the start and bring you back from time to time. Let it soak in a little bit. Okay, let me proceed a little bit. I just want to see if might take some while to dissolve the oil okay guys I'll bring you back when there's nice uh, progress okay it start to look like something but it's far from there okay guys I think the engine like looks a little bit better it will take more than one clean but at least we can go now and uh, proceed. Let me show you the other side. Much better, so should I say. Okay, let's take it in the shop and start operating. Okay guys, let's start with the carburetor as we said. And we're going to make sure there's no old um, varnish and stuff inside due to old petrol and then we are sure we can with confidence bottle feed, feed it and that there is no dirt in okay I just need to get that wire on hook okay there's a gasket okay I just want to uh, wipe off all that stuff there and bring you back guys okay guys just to mention something but I Im immediately see this top part that I said it's a throttle that is totally un it's not true because there is nothing on the inside that it can move. If I can try to light up inside for you, you look right through to the inside of the engine. There's nothing in this, in this part here. And this bottom one, which operates this, this is the throttle. So it's a throttle set at the bottom, at the bottom there. Okay, just to make uh, a, cl a clearance for you there, I was uh, wrong. It seems if there's no whatsoever a choke on this, it's only a throttle. And I think it serves as a... No, I'm totally wrong. This side is a choke. But it have a big hole in. So this is the this is the part I thought was a drain. That is actually a choke. So we will just remind that and keep it all open. And if you don't want to start, we can just push it open. So this is the choke, and the top one is the throttle. Okay, at least we have. Uh, uh, sure, sureness of that. Okay, let's proceed with the carburetor. Okay, guys, let's go in. I just broke my my one tripod, and lucky I bought a new one a while ago. But I had to look for it. The screwdriver is a little bit big. 
uh, I don't want to or oh, I need to take everything on video so that I can refer back I just want to get a smaller screwdriver okay I hope it's an easy one I just want to check for the cleaners and maybe uh, put some uh, carb cleaner through the oh there it followed apart okay it got a float like same as the luster kind of and there is the rest of the parts okay let me check it out and clean a little bit guys it looks fairly clean inside I must say okay Okay guys, I'm going to put it back together. I'm happy that everything is open and clean. Okay, so it's basically a simple step. I'm going to do it quickly. Okay guys, carburetor is back. And just to confirm, this is the throttle and that is the choke. So on this point it is choke uh, open meaning it won't want to start so you put it on this to get fuel and then you put it like that okay so now I'm good quickly going to remove the pull start and then uh, we can start and bottle feed the baby okay guys here's the pull start now clean it up a little bit but it obviously need more cleaning and that will come when we strip it down totally and I oiled that part that is the catch for that and give it some WD-40 okay let me put it back together okay guys <coughs> I'm ready for action there's our pipe going up and uh, carburetor is back everything is fine so I think we must put fuel in in the float and see for leaks and then uh, see if we can make it run on its own okay guys this will now be a great one let's without further ado let's do it okay guys i've got four of the syringes full in the pipe and uh, let's try and see if there's anything in the carp and if it will run okay let me set you up here just want to take this fuel away right okay gents shall we choke it or not maybe not let's try Okay guys, let's uh, try one more time. I took the pipe away. It was blocked, the throttle to open. Um, so maybe just by luck. But I just, as if it don't start, we will just give it some time. Because I washed the machine. It might be wet. Okay, it's a no. 
Okay, guys, I think uh, the problem is either a little bit wetness somewhere or I need to thoroughly, thoroughly clean the plug. There is now zero fire and the plug was wet when I took it out now, so the fuel come through. But I really test it now a few times here and there's no spark whatsoever. So I look for another type of plug. I think it's the same size as the Lister, but it will be too long. So I need to save this one. Okay guys, I just want to demonstrate. Look there, this is a different plug. But it's too long, it will not work, but you will see this nice spark. Just need to make contact. Now there's also nothing. Okay, there it is. I don't know if you could see. Maybe this part is not so nice. Let me check the it's original. Okay, let me see if you can see. Can you see? No spark. Okay, so I need to sort out a few things here. Yeah? Okay guys, the spark uh, comes uh, back. Every, every, every other pull there is a spark jump. So I think somewhere is something uh, hot, uh, not, uh, wet. So I, uh, I'm going to leave it a little bit, maybe in the sun. Okay guys, it's sitting in the sun for a while. And uh, I have a kind of a fire back. And I did not put f more fuel in. So just try, let's try it like this. Before we put the... Uh, more fuel in because it definitely get fuel let's choke it just one pull Check the fuel at the plug if it's wet or dry. Okay, it's kind of dry. Let's put a little bit in on the old way and maybe in the carburetor as well. Sorry that I take up your time. Let's put in there like yesterday. And then we try and then if it take off we will put more fuel in the carburetor. I just want to, don't want to do it now. Maybe just need that little bit of suction. Okay guys, I think our power will go off now and then the generator will run here. I think I'm going to leave it for a video. So I need to ensure good spark all the way. Maybe sit for a overnight will do it a th good thing because the fire is definitely not like yesterday. 
and uh, it seems if it just want to take off you should maybe not hear it but there's a spark problem either plug or it's somewhere uh, wet due to the bath so see you on the next one guys and i'm sure we will we will have success next time okay bye